From the legendary Venus flytrap to pitcher plants with fangs, here are 14 carnivorous plants you should never touch. Number 14. Pitcher Plants These types of plants get their common name from their jug-like appearance, and the majority of them are carnivorous. They normally dine on insects and the occasional amphibian. The plant secretes nectar along the rim of the pitcher to attract prey. A giant-sized species of this plant was discovered on the islands of Sumatra and Java about 9,500 feet 2.9 meters above sea level. This organism has a stem that grows 16 feet 5 meters high, with an upper pitcher that measures about 1 foot 30 centimeters long. And this one has a taste for rodents. Researchers documented it eating a mouse as they observed it. In addition to using nectar, this plant exhibits bright colours, which helps it stand out from the surrounding vegetation and attract unsuspecting prey. Once a victim drowns in the pitcher's digestive fluid, the body, including teeth and bones, is dissolved by acid and enzymes. Number 13. Butterworts since these plants receive scant mineral nutrition in their environment, they feed on insects to make up the difference. That's actually the case with many carnivorous plants. The majority of this species is found in Central and South America and exhibit a predatory behaviour that is similar to sundews. Depending on the species, the size and shape of the leaf blades can approach 12 inches long, 30 centimetres. All members of this family have leaves that are covered with droplets of a sticky substance. The moist appearance is thought to attract prey looking for water. When an insect lands on the leaf surface, it becomes trapped, and the struggle releases more of the substance, which finally encases the prey. Digestive enzymes break it down into a fluid which is absorbed into the leaf surface. Number 12. Brochynea reducta Bromeliads belong to a family of flowering plants that are identified by tightly overlapping leaves that form a water-storing basin. With more than 3,400 species so far identified, only a few are known to be carnivorous. This is one of them. Its leaves are coated with waxy scales which reflect ultraviolet light. That serves to lure in prey like insects. The plant also produces a sweet odour from its basin which can also attract prey. Experts say the plant produces at least one enzyme that's linked to an active digestion, so that's enough to define it as carnivorous. Did you know this plant belongs to the same family as pineapples? Number 11. Cow Eating Tree While researching this episode, we found some interesting stories that concerned carnivorous trees. These are cryptids, but we thought they were unusual enough to include. This first one is allegedly found in southern India, where locals have reported the presence of a cow eating tree. To be fair, we couldn't find where a cow had actually been eaten by a plant. But these hostile trees are said to have grabbed grazing cattle with their branches and yanked the bovines from the ground. According to one account, the locals converged on the tree before it could feast on the animal, and it was finally released. Supposedly, no official inquiry was conducted. Could the stories of such trees in the region have any basis in fact? Tell us what you think in the comments. Number 10. Shepherd's Purse Did you know this is considered to be the world's second most prolific wild plant? because it's actually the seeds that are the focus here. Experts say the seeds produce mucilage, which is a sticky substance that nearly all plants can exude. With this species, that happens when the seeds are wet or submerged. The process was shown to attract insect larvae which soon died, and may have provided nourishment for the seeds. That suggests the seeds could be described as proto-carnivorous, meaning it can trap prey but cannot directly ingest it. The seedling's behaviour is still being debated by botanists. Number 9. Rory Dula One of the world's tallest carnivorous plants, this specimen can stand more than 6 feet tall, 183 centimetres, and is found in South Africa. Its leaves are covered with sticky tentacles, similar to several other plants on our list. The gluey surface attracts insects which are trapped there, but this plant doesn't eat its prey in the traditional sense. There are tiny bugs that inhabit its leaves. These beasts work as a team to overpower and consume the trapped insect. When the predatory critters dispose of the droplings on the leaves, the plant indirectly feeds off its victims. Number 8. Yate Veo Tree This is another mysterious tree cryptid that reportedly grows around isolated mesas of Central and South America. While this carnivorous tree will prey on larger insects, it's also known to have a taste for human cuisine as well. The trees are said to have short, thick trunks with huge tendril-like spines radiating from it. The spines have barbs that resemble pointed teeth, with the outer ends laying on the ground. Its trunk appears to be an empty couch and functions to lure in weary prey. Once a victim steps on the circle of spines, they're suddenly trapped within. The tree uses its spines to crush its prey, squeezing all the blood from its carcass. Some accounts claim the tree has an eye it uses for locating prey. 
That seems to tie in with the tree's name. Translated from Spanish, Ya Te Veo means I see you. Number 7. The Manchineel Tree Since we mentioned a couple of tree cryptids, here's a real-life tree monster that's scarier than anything from folklore. It's not carnivorous, but with a nickname like the Tree of Death, we had to make room on our list. It's found from Florida to Central and South America, and is known for producing a white sap that is so toxic that it causes a violent reaction on the skin just by brushing against it. When workers tried clearing the area by burning the trees, it resulted in toxic fumes that caused temporary blindness and asphyxiation. It even produces a fruit nicknamed Little Apple of Death, which is hugely poisonous. In 2011, Guinness proclaimed this lethal plant as the world's most dangerous tree, so you definitely don't want to touch this one. Number 6. Strangleweed This one is more properly defined as a parasite than a carnivore, but since it feeds off other plants, we're including it anyway. It's also known as the dodder. This plant has thin stems with tiny leaves. Those vines can produce small fruit and flowers. To germinate, the seedlings have to find other green plants to serve as host. Once they're attached, the parasite inserts itself into the vascular system of the host organism. From there, the strangleweed can grow continuously and attach itself to other plants. Due to its insidious nature, strangleweed has expired some colourful nicknames including witch's hair and the devil's guts. Number 5. Bladderworts There are more than 230 species of this carnivorous plant and are distributed worldwide except for Antarctica. They can survive just about anywhere, but they're often found in wet soil or floating in freshwater environments. The common name is inspired by the bladder-like trap they use to capture prey like fry fish and juvenile tadpoles. Traps tend to be no larger than 1.2 centimetres, less than one half inch, but they're very sophisticated. When mechanically triggered, a trap door opens and creates a vacuum which sucks in the water along with the prey. The door closes and the bladder is filled. Experts say the operation occurs within 15 milliseconds. Number 4. Trumpet Pitchers There are about 10 species of these plants that are indigenous to the eastern region of North America. The plant uses a combination of leaf colour and scent to attract prey. Once it arrives, it's trapped by nectar on the rim of the pitcher's tubular leaves. The nectar is slippery enough to make the victim lose their footing and fall inside. They can't get out because the pitcher's walls are coated with a waxy surface that is too smooth to climb. The plant's digestive enzymes soon kill the prey, and it's ready for consumption. There's a theory that the plant's nectar has a narcotic effect on its victims. If so, maybe the prey is too blissed out to realise what's happening to it. Number 3. The Fanged Pitcher Plant this plant is found in forests of Indonesian Borneo, where it can grow as tall as 20 metres 66 feet. And it's a little different from some of the other pitcher plants on the list. While it still has the characteristic fluid-filled container, it lacks a waxy, smooth pitcher interior. This plant gets its nutrition thanks to symbiosis with a species of carpenter ant. The insects colonise the thick, hollow stems, where they can stay submerged in watery traps for extended periods. When prey like flies show up, the ants swarm the victim in the pitcher fluid to prevent them from escaping. The plant obtains nutrients from the corpses of prey and any waste product released by the colony. Why is it called the fanged pitcher plant? That's a reference to the two prominent thorn-like structures that appear on the upper pitcher. Its exact purpose is still unknown. Number 2. Venus Flytrap if you're judging by brand awareness, then this is arguably the best-known specimen on the list. The carnivorous plant is native to the US, and is known to have an appetite for insects and spiders. Its trapping structure is formed by portions of the plant's leaves. It starts to close when prey like insects crawl along the leaves and contacts a hair which triggers the process. The flytrap only snaps shut when a second contact is triggered within 20 seconds of the first. The redundant triggering mechanism ensures that no energy is wasted by capturing prey that has no nutritional value. Did you know the plant requires an additional 5 stimuli to determine whether the bug is alive and worthy to be digested? Number 1. Sundews That name sounds like a fruit, not a plant. These are among the larger carnivorous plants, with nearly 200 species described so far. They capture and digest their insect prey by luring them with their tentacles, which have glands covering the surface. The glands secrete a thick mucilage, which traps the prey. The plant's name originates from the glistening droplets that appear like morning dew. Some species of the plant have tentacles that can snap when prey disturbs them. The appendages will rapidly coil up, then snap forward and bend inward to bring the prey into contact with as many of the stalked glands as possible. Did you know that sundew plants have been used to treat sunburn, toothaches and asthma? 
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.